Okay, welcome back. This is the Paracord Weaver. Today we want to talk about the mobile paracord jig that we offer here at Paracord Weaver. Uh, this one actually came about because I have a friend who's in the military and he's an operator in the field all the time and he needed a tool um, during their downtime to be able to make things. Um, he needed to be able to recoil his uh, paracord after it had been deployed. Um, so it'd be ready to use again. And he needed something that was light. It had to be adjustable. Um, it had to be very strong because those guys are really abusive on stuff. Uh, it had to be able to take all weather. Um, you can't have anything that's going to rot, get wet, and swell, and do different things. Uh, it has to be, um, be able to be mobile enough that he could stuff it in any hole or slot that he had in his backpack. Um, you know, those guys carry between 50 and 70 pounds on them all the time. So this thing cannot weigh very much. It has to be light. They just don't have any margins uh, for room or for weight. Um, he needed it to be able to retain its settings. He needed to know that when he put it in, that it was gonna be at a certain size. And these are perfect because these holes are one inch. So it's very, very certain when you put it somewhere what it's going to be. It had to be multifunctional. Um, you can't have an item just do one thing. Uh, when you're in the field like that and you're stressed um, with all the extra weight in the room, you just don't have the capacity to be able to have a specific item to do each thing. It has to do a bunch of stuff. And it had to be built out of parts that he could get anywhere, uh, anywhere in the world, uh, on any military base. So what we did was we used um, PVC, Schedule 80, um, the high pressure joints, so they're very strong. But if by chance he breaks one of these uprights, um, he'll be able to get it anywhere. And if he wants to change the height of this, that's easy too. I mean, it's, you know, if he wants, you know, a foot long or, you know, three inches long or whatever he wants, uh, it's very adjustable. It's very flexible to whatever your requirements are. Uh, these come with nine inches, and the reason they do that is I'll explain that to you in a minute. So, and it had to be strong enough that it could be used as a weapon uh, and still be able to be used afterwards. Um, a lot of things, they're a weapon, but you use them and they break. Uh, this isn't going to break. This is high quality aluminum. It's very strong. Um, and this Schedule 80 is incredibly strong. So let me go ahead and put it together for you so you can see what it looks like together. Um, this is, doesn't take very long at all. Everything is relatively easy. Okay, and <laughs> there you have it. It's together. So what we also have is a base that it, we've set it up so that it sits on it. So you can have it stand up if you want. Um, we can get this in a hardwood um, or plastic, uh, depending on what the requirements are. So we just need to know that. Uh, it comes with uh, a wood piece. And we also have uh, holes in our base. And the reason we do that is because it's also a jig for a monkey fist. So you wrap it up, and there's videos online on how to uh, make a monkey fist using a jig. Um, then you slide your ball up in there and tighten it up. And these are set for one inch ball bearings. Uh, that's because that's normally what we use. Um, it's easy to add holes if you need to go bigger or smaller. So it's, 
it's a non-issue on uh, the flexibility there. Everything, everything's flexible in this. Everything um, is easily modified to fit your requirements. Uh, these pins slide inside of these uprights. So, you know, they come with you too. So, the other thing that this does is you take these uprights and you turn them upside down. Okay. You turn it upside down. And now you have a figure eight, no tangle jig. So you've got your, your skein or hank of a hundred foot uh, paracord. You're out in the field, you deploy it, and you need to put it back in your pack. Well, how are you gonna do that? Well, you're gonna use this jig uh, because it's so easy to use. And this height is this distance on purpose because um, that's, 100 feet of paracord. When you put it in here in a figure eight and you wind it up, that's 100 feet. Um, that's <laughs> everything is designed with a purpose so that it's flexible for the standards. Um, again, this is lightweight, very strong, adjustable to your needs. And um, we offer it here at the Paracord Weaver. You can get it on our Etsy store. Uh, I'll put the link in the description for you so you can pick it up there. Um, the other th reason why this came about um, was I was thinking about creating another jig before I talked to my friend because I was really tired of using big bulky um, wood, wood jigs. Um, they're uncomfortable. They're not very conducive to use them anywhere besides in your garage or in your house. Um, you can't use them while you're driving down the road you know, with your wife or uh, kids or anything like that. This just sits, you can set this right here. Let me show you. I take this to craft shows and I just set this like this and now I can make things while people, people are watching me. Um, that brings more people in. Um, it's very easy. It's very mobile. It's very portable. Uh, it works great. So uh, we try to expand um, the design, and this will probably change because when we find a new way to do it, we will do that. Um, when we find a new piece of material to use, we'll do that. Um, we don't stay doing the same thing. We are always adjusting, trying to improve and make it better. So this is the Paracord Weaver. Um, we just wanted to introduce our paracord jig um, and again it'll keep changing as we go but um, this is what we have and it's available on the Etsy store and have a good one we'll talk to you later